One of our headline story, as uh, you may be aware, this week uh, the issue of Shraj Bose and her rent saga has dominated headlines since yesterday. It emerged that on Tuesday that the commissioner of Shraj, Loretta Lamte, has in the last 33 months been paying what staff of the commission considers as a huge fund on her accommodation when the institution is very severely cash trapped. Uh, Loretta Lamte's African Union village apartment cost the state $148,000. $500 in 33 months from November 2011 to April 2014. She's come out to explain that it was the responsibility of the state to provide her with accommodation. Uh, but a, a, a source from Shraja says that the daily graphic report is a blessing in disguise and that Shraj indeed needs an overhaul. We've been joined on online by former commissioner of Shraj, Justice Emil Short. Good afternoon, Sam. Thank you so much for joining us. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. I can yeah. hear you. Go ahead. Great. Um, my first question is, um, I'm sure you, uh, you, 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 you know the story. Uh, how do you feel about the extent to which it's been discussed in the media and the impact of it on the commission? Well, I think it's embarrassing for the commission um, that, you know, uh, these reports should be coming out and uh, indicating that you know, the commissioner, uh, so much money has been spent on her accommodation and uh, she's now staying in a hotel. Um, but I think the important thing is to find out why this situation has got to this uh, position. All I can tell you is that the building, the Shraj building, which I occupied in 1999, was a newly constructed building, you know, built for Shraj. And then... Um, I stayed there until 2010 when I retired, and when I retired, it was in a habitable condition, but it stayed vacant for a year before she was appoint appointed, because Ms. Bosman, who was the acting commissioner, had her own accommodation. So um, she was, um, Ms. Loretta was appointed in 2011. So given the fact that it was vacant for about a year, I would assume that it would have required some you know, uh, painting, minor renovations. But I don't know the kind of uh, renovations that were done, who authorized them, and um, the budget that was available for, for these, uh, these renovations, and why the renovations have taken so long, you know, to be completed. So these are issues which, you know, you, you need to try and get answers to. All right. Um, just as it means that it's not normal, to have well, that huge sound? Well, uh, well, let me say that. As I said, when I left the house, the house was, was in a reasonable condition. It, was, it wasn't an old building. It was a building that was constructed, newly constructed in, in 1999. So, but it was vacant for about a year. So I don't know what renovations were requested and by whom, and by whom it was authorized. Um, but it has taken... Uh, it has taken too long All right. for these renovations to be completed, and I don't know why this is so, and I don't know why the renovations have cost so much. You know, I don't have the figures, I don't have the facts, you know, and I don't know what it is that has led to the point where she has to move into a hotel, um, which of course is quite expensive. All right. Um, finally, before you go, um, she's come out to say, I mean, it's the state's responsibility uh, to provide her accommodation. There's no doubt about that. Uh, yes. But do you think that the, the attacks, because now when you listen to commentary, people are attacking her personality and even questioning her reputation as a commissioner of Shrad and a place that people go to to seek redress, a, a place that, that, that addresses issues that uh, bothers, hinders on, uh, on the society. Well, I'm not, going, I'm, not, I'm not going to be the one to talk about her reputation or her competence. All I can say is that, you know, over the last two or three years, I have received numerous uh, negative reports from persons working in charge and outside, and, you know, the general public about the, you know, the thinking image of Shraj uh, under her leadership. Um, I, I have not... I have decided not to comment about this publicly, but okay. what I can say is that I have received these, these, these comments. Uh, a lot of people have spoken to me and said that 
it looks like Shiraj has lost his voice and it, it, it has lost his teeth to buy the specialist with regard to investigating allegations of corruption and speaking out on human rights issues. So these are reports that have come to my attention, you know, but um, uh, as to her, her performance at Shrug, it's for the public, the media, and other people to do the assessment. You know, I being um, the predecessor, I don't think it's appropriate for me to, to, okay. to do that assessment. Very well. And um, it's clearly, it also shows, I mean, from the reports we are having, that these are information that are coming from even staff of Shraj. Uh, what needs to happen after, I mean, after all this has gone down? Well, <laughs> I, 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 I would leave that to the proper authorities. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Justice welcome, Emil Short is the former commissioner of the Commission on Human Rights and Administrative Justice, as say, commenting on the astronomical figures of, I mean, rents we're paying for the Commissioner uh, Loretta Lamted. And he says he receives complaints that Shraj has lost it. They've lost the, the, the teeth to bite. Do you think so? Go to our social media platform at News on TV3 and put your thoughts there, or News on TV3, and tell us what you think about the current uh, brouhaha, shrug in you know, a brouhaha, never. I, I